So let's talk about complex radical situations in algebra. So let's say I asked you to evaluate these radicals right here. There's another way that you can write all these expressions. The fifth root of 32 up here, you can actually rewrite this as 32 to the 1 fifth power. The fourth root of 16 would be 16 to the 1 fourth power. The cube root of 8 would be 8 to the 1 third power. And likewise, the square root of 4 would be 4 to the 1 half power. Hopefully you're recognizing the relationship between these fractions here and the numbers on the radical. And if you evaluate all these numbers here, you should get 2 for each and every one of them. This rule for the radical will help you a lot. An example would be if we had a situation like this. What you could do is you could actually take this fifth root of x cubed and write this as x cubed to the one fifth power. Notice something. There's a rule with exponents. You can just multiply the exponents directly across. So we just have three times one fifth times eight, which is 24 over five. And now it's pretty clear. I can take both sides of my expression and raise it to the five twenty-fourths power, leaving me with just x on the left side. And if you evaluate this number on the right side here on your calculator, there's actually a theme for this video. You should get the number two. And that is the solution for x in this problem.